r slash dirtingoverthity. Tom A4WX says. Old, talking about the app slash your experiences on a first date. Just curious, but what are your guys thoughts on talking about the online dating apps during a first date? For me, it seems to always come up, I feel like I generally always naturally go to that topic at some point, and I'm thinking maybe I should just start avoiding it. I do always try to keep things positive and vague, and usually talk generally about things like, even the negative stories usually have a positive spin to them, when I present them. We usually talk about the nature of trying to meet people organically vs old. What are your guys thoughts? I feel like maybe it isn't the greatest thing to bring up, and can sometimes go sideways. Some people have had really bad dating experiences, like, criminal acts occurring against them. I had one woman, that cried on a date, a light tear, so not like hysterical crying, but I could tell she was traumatized and understandably so. I felt kinda crappy after hearing about it. I just always want my dates to have a really good time so, maybe I should just avoid the topic. Ace says. I only bring it up, if the date clearly isn't going anywhere slash we are just not having any connection, and don't have a future. It's fun commiserating about it, but I won't talk about the pitfalls of old or my nightmare dates with a person I think there is potential with. I just don't want to put that into the universe, or make a person feel that I could be talking about her, or our date like that sometime in the future. Mangopen Cakes says. I'm comfortable talking about it, and almost always bring it up as it's entertaining for me, 30sf, to compare and share one another's experiences recatfishing, ghosting, the bad and good dates, and just make light of it all. It's a bonding experience in a way. I don't think we should get so hung up on old, or take it so seriously. Cavscout43 says. Majorly depends on the person, their personality, and their dating experiences. I've seen folks ramble for hours about an ex-husband I had zero interest in hearing about. Folks get really weird at the idea that we've all dated around, and didn't fall in love in high school, and bonded with women laughing over our worst date slash hookup stories. There's no blanket answer here sadly, it's really context dependent on who you're talking to about it. Bad MJ says. I personally don't like getting asked about it on a first date. It feels like it gets asked when conversation stalls which isn't a great sign. For me I'd rather keep conversation to just getting to know the other person, not how they are dating. Never after says. I'm interested in people's experience, I'm interested in relationships, in the modern dating culture in general, and how it relates to mental health, people's well-being, self-perception, self-esteem. I also think that the way they talk about other people says so much about how they navigate those waters. I generally ask about people's experiences, and the ones who were open and honest, and explained what their experience was like, were the ones I personally got on with the best. My partner and I met on Tinder, talk about our past often, and I've heard loads of stories about his dating experiences and past relationships. I'm also by no means an average to measure anything by. I very rarely, if ever had a bad experience dating, be it in the wild, or on the apps, and I've used them all. I love going on dates, and also very rarely had bad dates. So that's just my personal experience. I ask people, I'm curious, we normally have a great conversation about dating, and the psychology of dating. r slash dating of earth the Light in the tree says. How to end things. So I've been in a casual situation that morphed into a relationship with a guy for over a year. We still only see each other once every week, or sometimes with our schedules every other week. Neither of us wanted a relationship in the beginning, but we kept hanging out, and after a brief discussion decided to try it as a relationship. However, both of us have avoidant tendencies and trouble opening up, so although we've been dating it's never felt super intimate. Which is why I just want to end things. 
About a month ago I told him I felt there was just something missing, and that I was having trouble opening up with him, but of course I'm terrible at communicating well, and we just left this open ended. Like we'd work on it. After really thinking things over. I would like to just end it, because I need someone who can draw me more air of my shell, and for some reason I'm just not feeling comfortable enough to really do that with him. Even after a year, we never talk on the phone. If we did I would feel comfortable calling him up to have this convo. We only text and hang out in person. Am I supposed to set up another in-person date just to break it off? Can I text my intentions and offer him the choice to me to talk about it? Again, we don't talk on her phone, so I don't really feel comfortable calling him up, since we never do that. But it also seems crappy to set up a date, just to break up with someone. Is breaking up over text horrible? Suggestions? Cavscout43 says. I need someone who can draw me more air of my shell one thing to be careful of here, and not to your actual question, is relying on others, to fix your social behaviors and habits. That's a bad way, to end up in a unilateral codependency that's unhealthy for both parties. But, moving on. We only text and hang out in person. Am I supposed to set up another in-person date just to break it off? Can I text my intentions and offer him the choice to me to talk about it? So you're in a bit of a weird spot, but a one plus year relationship, even if it's kind of loose and casual is quite a chunk of time invested. That being said, myself and plenty of other folks posting here all aren't a fan of having an in-person meeting just to get dumped. It sounds like as of a month ago you told him it wasn't going well, so this shouldn't blindside him. I'd just be direct at this point, use whatever communication you think they'd prefer, text or in person, and not overthink, if one is right or wrong compared to the other. Dingabut5 says. Yeah too often avoidant people end up with someone naturally more anxious, because they will chase and put in more effort for less in return than a securely attached person. It's like avoidant people naturally kind of need that sort of person who will go that extra step. To draw them out of their shell, that op is talking about. But tbh while I don't think it's always a toxic pairing I do think anxiously attached people are better served avoiding avoidance like opus. They suffer the most in romantic relationships have typically lower salaries and life satisfaction, because they get too preoccupied with their partner. Excellent tonight 63 says. I broke up with my partner in person and they replied. I wish you'd just text me. Maybe you could lay some groundwork via text, so that they would see it coming. And then they could avoid the meetup, if they wanted to. Brawarius says. I broke up with someone after 3 years in person and they were upset I didn't do it over text. I sat there like, wow, we're 40 and have been together 3 years and you want me to pass you a note in study hall? Jesus Christ Supers 1R says. Honestly it feels like a they'll hate it regardless of how it happens situation. You text them, and they're upset and the flippancy. You tell them in person and they're upset, that you had them come out, and meet you personally I'd want at least a phone convo, but for anything more than a year I'd say an in-person meeting, but with some heads up on text beforehand. Something like hey, I've thought a lot about my future and us, and I think it's best we meet and talk. If you prefer a text that's fine to or something. Give them the option. Allison87 says. I think there's a middle ground between breaking up over text and arranging a date just to break up. You go to his place to talk to him. R slash Spinnabashus says. Should I tell a woman I'm seeing, that I'm interested, in pursuing a more serious relationship with her? I have been casually dating, since the end of my LTR 6 months ago. I met a girl last month before the holidays, and we had a great time getting to know each other. I was out of town for the holidays and this week she invited me to hang out with her and her friends. I'm really into her, and we have a lot in common. I'm realizing that I'm done with the casual dating and see her as someone that I would want to date more seriously. 
the only issue is that I'm having a hard time gauging her interest. I also think it could be important to tell her how I feel, I just don't want to come on too strong too soon. If it matters, we haven't been physical in either of our two dates. So I don't think she realizes how interested I'm in her. I think I have two options. 1. Tell her how I feel, and move on if she is looking for something more casual or not interested in long term. 2. Let everything play out naturally. Thoughts? Zen P says. You're in luck. Option 2 is option 1. Telling someone how you feel is natural. The less guesswork we have to do in our relationships the better. So yeah, tell her. Worst case scenario is she says she's not interested. Actually worst case scenario is, before she can even respond the sun explodes, and you die never knowing how she felt about you. But barring that, worst case scenario is she says no. Jesus Christ Supers 1R says. I will never ever understand the let it play out naturally crew. By having the conversation you are learning a lot about the other person. If they react poorly to your authenticity then you know it isn't meant to be, and good riddance, you wouldn't want to be with someone who doesn't like honesty, I know that sounds scary, and frustrating but that's what healthy relationships are built. You should never not have a conversation with a partner out of fear. PNW underscore uncle underscore irox says. Everyone is saying tell her, but you've only been on two dates, and haven't been physical yet. I think you should let her know, that you are interested, in pursuing a serious relationship, but how do you even know you want to pursue one with her yet? You barely know her. Make your intentions known, but you don't need to have the define the relationship talk yet. Slow down. Camwell11 says. As a 34F who has been through one too many such relationships. I say tell her, that you are looking for something more than casual, and that you like her. I wish more men were honest up front. LTOTR says. I'm going to be the voice of dissent here. If someone hit me with wanting to be in a relationship in less than like 6 ish dates slash 1.5 months I'd be pretty overwhelmed. I personally think you should give her some time, to feel out how she feels about you. That said, I think it's fantastic, if you express to her, that you're having a great time, enjoy her company, and want to continue seeing her in a zero pressure, disclosure type of way. O underscore Aki says. You should get into a semi-serious relationship with her, and in 4 to 5 months start to pull back, and tell her you're not ready yet and still healing from your past relationship you thought you were over. Am I right ladies? They dumped ESS Nadop, let this breathe a few more dates. Take a step back. I also wouldn't stop causally dating, and just focus on her. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.